लेट्स रिवाइज नेफ्रोलॉजी एम आर सी पी नोट्स सो यू हैव पेरेटोनियल डायलिसिस पेरेटोनाइटिस क्वागलेज नेगेटिव स्टाफ एपिडर्मिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज एंड आफ्टर दैट इट्स स्टाफ ऑरियस ट्रीटमेंट यू डू विथ वैंकोमाइसिन और टीकोप्लान और प्लस सेफ्ट एज अ डाइम विच इज एडेड टू द डायलिसिस फ्लोइड और यू कैन एड वैंकोमाइसिन एंड गिव सिप्रोफ्लॉक्सिसन ओरली ग्राम नेगेटिव अमाइनोग्लाइकोसाइड्स causes of nephrogenic uh, diabetes insipidus you have genetic which is the most com- the most common is vasopressin which is adh receptor less common is mutation in gene aquaporin 2 electrolytes hypercalcemia can cause nephrogenic diabetes hypokalemia can cause it lithium it desensitizes kidney's ability to respond to the adh in the collecting duct so this is one of the mcq which is very frequently asked Uh, especially when you are practicing in past medicine demaclocycline uh, is another drug which can cause it tubulo interstitial diseases obstruction of sickle cell pyelonephritis so these are the five causes of nephrogenic diabetes insipidus what causes papillary nec- necrosis the clinical features of this are fever loin pain and hematuria so these are very vague features the causes are chronic analgesia use sickle cell disease tuberculosis acute pyelonephritis and diabetes mellitus chronic analgesia sickle cell disease tuberculosis acute pyelonephritis and diabetes mellitus cystine urea cystine urea is an autosomal recessive disorder which is an inborn error of amino acid transport this is uh, this causes recurrent stones there is defect in membrane transport of cysteine ornithine lysine arginine cola and chromosome 2 slc3a1 gene chromosome 19 slc7a19 gene so there are two types of cysteine this is type a and this is non type uh, cysteine urea clinical features is recurrent renal stones yellow crystalline semi opaque on x-ray because of sulfur diagnosis cyanide nitroprusside test management hydration d penicillamine urine alkalinization so this is how you treat cystine urea now there are two uh, uh, similar naming uh, causes some pathology some is one is cystinosis which causes fanconi syndrome and this is cystine urea which causes renal stones theek hai so cystinosis fanconi so fanco has got an o in it so this is cystinosis cystine urea urea matlab urea mein renal stones will be there now we come to one more point which is a separate point from this entity a cyclovir induced nephropathy now what happens there is deposition of a cyclovir crystals on renal tubules and resulting in intracellular obstruction hydration d penicillin ye to ho gaya a cyclovir induced nephropathy this is deposition of acyclovir crystals in renal tubules resulting in intratubular obstruction theek hai va psychouretric reflex this is antenatal and it causes hydronephros uh, antenatal you can detect it with hydronephros under usg abdominal usg of the mother 30% children cause have recurrent utis refer uh, uh, nephropathy reflux nephropathy chronic pyelonephritis commonest cause chronic pyelonephritis renal scar which increases the quantity of renin and this will cause hypertension investigation you do with psychourethral reflex there will be micturating cystourethrogram dms scan to look for renal scarring now there are four types you have ureter uh scarring in the ureter scarring the renal pelvis or third types are dilatation of the pelvic ureteral calyces or dilatation which is moderate moderate urethral tor- tor- uh, torticity and fifth is gross dilatation of the whole uh, pelvic calyceal and ureteral system renal artery stenosis this is basically progressive narrowing of the renal artery there is uh, input be uh, input blood pressure input blood is less so blood pressure decreases and the re- kidney senses and tries to raise the blood pressure which increases the chances of stroke and mi so here there will be renal atrophy due to rest blood 
what are the causes of renal artery stenosis what is atherosclerosis which will therefore this will be in older population second is fibromuscular dysplasia fibro is fibrous collagen muscle is smooth muscle and dysplasia is string of uh, abnormal development so you will see the string of bead appearance in the kidney in a ct scan if the if one kidney is affected second kidney will balance it out but if both kidney is affected there will be aki what are the clinical features there will be headache blurred vision and bruy diagnosis you will do lab test you will do serum creatinine and urine analysis you can do imaging with the help of usg ct and mri and renal arteriography treatment hypertension surgery you do uh, for uh, for treatment you have to manage hypertension surgery balloon arterioplasty and stent bypass with graft you have to remove the kidney second amyloidosis uh, al type which is the most common l is for the immunoglobulin light chain fragment due to myeloma and waldstrom mgus a uh, clinical feature the most common one is nephrotic syndrome of course then cardiac neurologic macroglossia periorbital ecchymosis aa amyloid this is a for precursor serum amyloid a protein acute phase reactant which is seen in chronic infection or rheumatoid arthritis there is renal involvement beta 2 microglobulin beta 2 microglobulin is the most common one mhc associated with patients on renal dialysis then you have uh, okay av fistula takes 6 to 8 weeks to form this is one of the mcqs renal cell carcinoma this is hypernephroma which is 85% of renal cancer arises from the proximal renal tubule epithelium the most common one is clear cell association with middle aged men smoking von hippel lindau tuberous sclerosis ad pkd slight chances clinical feature hematuria loin pain abdominal mass uh, pyrexia of unknown origin endocrine effects there will be increase in the erythropoietin which will cause polycy pth there will be increase in the calcium and renin ठीक है ए सी टी एच विल बी सिक्रीटेड सो दीज आर द एंडोक्राइन इफेक्ट बिट विल सीन इन एनी सी के डी पेशेंट इज वेल एरेथ्रोपोटन इंक्रीज पी टी एच रिलीज एंड ए सी टी एच ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट विल अंडर गो मेटास्टासिस पैरानियोप्लास्टिक रीनल डिसफंक्शन सिंड्रोम दे विल बी इंक्रीज इन द एल एफ टी गामा जी टी एंड बीटा सिंपेथेटिक वराइकोसील स्टॉफर सिंड्रोम लेफ्ट साइडेड होता है कॉज बाय ट्यूमर कॉम्प्रोमाइज द वेन्स एंड क्लिनिकल पिक्चर इज कोलेस्टासिस एंड हेपाटोस्पिनो मैगैली देर इज इंक्रीज इन द इंटरलोकन सिक्स टी वन इज लेस दैन सेवन सेंटीमीटर टी टू इज मोर दैन सेवन सेंटीमीटर टी थ्री मेजर वेन्स और पेरीफेरल टिश्यूज बट नॉट इप्सिलेट्रल अडर्नल ग्लैंड नॉट बियॉन्ड द जेरोटास फेशियो T4 is tumor which invades the uh, invades beyond the gyrotas fascia. So T1 is less than seven centimeter. T2 is more than seven centimeter. T3 is major veins and partial peripheral tissue, but not beyond gyrotas. T4 is beyond gyrotas. Management it is different for the tumor size. T1 के लिए it is partial nephrectomy. You give alpha interferon interleukin two uh, for metastasis. recurrent uh, re- receptor tyrosine kinase inhibitor like sorafenib sumatinib super efficacious compared to infer interferon alpha so these two are better for uh, renal cell cancer nephrotic syndrome we come for now there is uh, increased risk of thromboembolism and loss of antithrom due to loss of antithrombin 3 and uh, plasminogen in the urine so this will cause renal vein thromboembolism dvt pulmonary embolism uh, rvt uh, renal renal thrombosis decrease in the sudden renal function hyperlipidemia increased risk of acute coronary syndrome and stroke ckd can be there increased risk of infection due to urine loss due to urine immunoglobulin loss hypocalcemia vitamin d and binding protein lost in the urine so these are the features which can be seen in nephrotic syndrome we'll see this further again adult polycystic kidney disease there is type 1 and type 
85 परसेंट इज टाइप वन विच इज क्रोमोजोम सिक्सटीन रीनल फेलियर होता है इससे दिस इज एसोसिएटेड विद इंट्राक्रीनल अन्यूरिजम्स यू एस जी डायग्नोस्टिक टू सिट्स टू सिस यूनिलैट्रल और बायोलैट्रल लेस दैन थर्टी टू सिस बायोलैट्रल इन थर्टी टू फिफ्टी नाइन ईयर्स ऑफ एज एंड फोर सिस बायोलैट्रल इन मोर दैन सिक्सटी रिमेंबर दिस फोर सिस बायोलैट्रल इन मोर दैन सिक्सटी टाइप टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट रोबिस फोर वट आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर ऑफ एनरल पॉलिसिस्टिक किडनी डिजीज रीनल फेलियर्स है सो हिमाचोरिया रीनल मास लिवर मास एटी परसेंट इंक्रीज रिस्क ऑफ रीनल स्टोन यूरेट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट माइट्रल वाल प्रोलैप्स इज दैन दैन मैनेजमेंट टोलवाप्टान वैसो प्रेसन रिसेप्टर टू एंटागोनिस्ट 